Hola mi gente, es tu chica Sisi. ¿Cómo estás? Tengo un buen día. Happy December. I cannot believe it's December already. This is the last month of 2021. And I know ever since, you know, COVID and everything happened, within the past two years, it's been challenging. But we're pushing through, spreading positivity. I have exciting news, but I can't share it with you or upload it or post it until next week. Stay tuned for that. It will be posted sometime either Wednesday of next week or Thursday. Don't know the time yet, but I'll set a premiere. I've been practicing for this choreo. Like th I ran through the whole choreo every single day. See, as a dancer, you have to practice until you can get it like, like that. So I remember actually, this is, I started dance four years ago. I've been doing dance. I've been a dancer for four years now and I absolutely love it. Dancing makes me feel alive, passionate, like free. And it's very sensational because you're using and expressing your body in such ways that you're telling a story. That's my last performance. I wanted to talk about it now because this will be my last class. Not last class forever because I've been doing ballroom bass for four years now. Bachata, salsa, and hip hop for a few years as well. But bachata and salsa I've been doing for two years with Miss Aliani. So I may go back I know next that. semester I'm gonna have to take a break from dance because it's gonna be hard to travel back and forth, go back from my mom's and dad's house. And then, yeah, we'll see from there because I'm gonna be doing dance at Montclair for the first time as a class. We'll see how it goes because I really love dance. I wanna do what I love still, so I get to do that. And try new things instead of, because I've never done dance at my, my school before. I've my family is peak. That's my peak uh, family. I really love Miss Olivia. You know, she's the most caring person I know. Always a hard worker, pushes us to do great. She motivates me to practice every day. And she tells a story as well. We all have a story to tell. So this is just going to be a great performance. But with along with the others and my little crew family, I had something special for all of them. I wrote this short little poem rhyme it came at the top of my head through all the years i've been doing dancing and how close all you guys have meant meant to me which you already know who you are there's six of you including miss olivia the especially like two that i became really close with throughout the years so i'm really thankful and grateful to have you guys in my life and just connect making forming connections with you all throughout the years and how closer we've got from tutus to leotards to first starting out this was my moment i could never live without it goes really well with everything throughout the years and to all my brothers and sisters who i can call now my dance family circle i love you guys remember forever a team always a team we start and we finish as a team. So always and forever. Also, I know some of you guys said as the oldest being there, you guys look up to me, which I'm so grateful for, grateful for as well. Although sometimes, you know, I can be quiet in class and then just go straight forward to just doing the dance and everything. But I appreciate that. And yeah, you guys are like my little siblings to me, I guess you can say. Even though four years doesn't seem to sound a lot, felt like known you guys for years, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not going to say more because I want to save it and I'm going to edit it and everything until I actually do perform. So I perform to entertain, not compete. I've never competed in my life, but um, this will be a big one and I'm looking forward to this especially because it's december this may be one of my favorite events or shows that i've ever done and we'll see how it goes so i hope you guys enjoyed and i one more note on the side note p.s i once i started dance i wasn't like how i was today 
and it's not because I know some people a lot of people think that they're better than others you're not better than anybody else but yourself you push yourself only you can do what you think is right or wrong and I realized that throughout the years and then now that I'm going to be in the front I've worked my way up to that certain point to get where I needed to be and it's that time has finally come because good times happen within time. Remember, forever a team, always a team. We start and we finish as a team. So always and forever. Also, I know some of you guys said as the oldest being there, you guys look up to me, which I'm so grateful for, grateful for as well. Although sometimes, you know, I can be quiet in class and then just go straight forward to just doing the dance and everything. But I appreciate that. And yeah, you guys are like my little siblings to me, I guess you can say. Even though four years doesn't seem to sound a lot. Felt like known you guys for years, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not gonna say more because I wanna save it and I'm gonna edit it and everything until I actually do perform. So I perform to entertain, not compete. I've never competed in my life, but um, this will be a big one. And I'm looking forward to this, especially because it's December. This may be one of my favorite events or shows that I've ever done. And we'll see how it goes. So hope you guys enjoyed. And I, one more note on the side note, Yes, I, once I started dance, I wasn't like how I was today. And it's not, because I know some people, a lot of people think that they're better than others. You're not better than anybody else but yourself. You push yourself, only you can do what you think is right or wrong. And I realized that throughout the years. And then now that I'm going to be in the front, I've worked my way up to that certain point to get where I need it to be. And it's that time has finally come. So yet along with dance and this big performance and announcement that will be happening, we end the semester the 20th, exams this coming week into next, and then it, describing it as a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You're cramming in all the material that you learned for all your classes, and just squishing that all together. And now I have to study all that because my first exam actually is this Friday. And then the day before my showcase, I have to finish my stats exam because she's going to post, my professor is going to post it the night, during the night, and then it's going to be due the next day, but at night. And then the showcase. So you guys are probably wondering how I got into dance and how I started doing dance. Throughout high school, I loved to try new things, regardless of how many things it was. But ever since I was six years old, I know I have a video in there, me talking about Taekwondo somewhere on my channel. And I've been doing Taekwondo since I was six, officially a black belt. And then just tried to do join clubs, meet new people from seventh and eighth grade because my high school was combined from seventh grade to senior year. And I decided to do photography clubs, take photography classes because I was interested in photography. I have all those videos up there, which will talk about everything, all my passions and hobbies that I love doing. I also joined sports. I did softball, soccer, track. Track I tried for a year. Oh, I hated running but it was very good for your stamina. Soccer and softball, my ultimate favorite, which I probably talked about in some of my videos of how long I've been doing that. But besides that, when it comes to dancing, I didn't get into it until I started actually going to parties, like family parties, birthday parties from 16 to now. So I actually started dancing my junior year of high school. But I would dance every, even when I was little, from the time I could walk to now, 
I would be like shaking, shaking my little booty, dancing all over the place. Up until now, I dance in the shower, dance when I eat. I can name it all. I dance all the time, whether in class, out of class, on the street, in public. You already know. But when I'm alone, obviously, like I dance on my own in front of the mirror. But in class, when I just dance all the time. But I used to be very timid. So Taekwondo helped with me not being timid and it it really helps with self-discipline and all the other things that I do. Like do everything one step at a time, always finish what you started. And that's how I started doing plays. I wanted to try out for plays, never made it in because at the time, like I do take vocal lessons as well. I think at the time I would just hold back all my, I don't know how to explain it, but my voice and it would, we would have to sing and get up on stage. I wasn't used to that. And I'm still nervous till this day to do that. But I've tried out for many plays. I think The Lion King, The Addams Family, Grease, never made it in because there was always favoritism as well. They would pick the seniors to be the leading role. Then COVID happened, could never try out for a play because I was also into softball. So that ended my softball career. But that's how it all started. When I started doing acting classes for eight weeks straight, I just realized acting wasn't really for me because I decided to do singing and dancing and all that, doing what I love on the outside of school. And it just came to me. I went to two different studios, by the way. I went to this studio right down Richfield Park, but it's literally like 10 minutes away if you drive. And now it's, it, shout out to Miss Shea. It's her studio now. It's called Exquisite House of Dance. And she's been doing hip hop there for a few years now. I've actually done her class for a year, hip hop. It was great. Go check out that as well. It was a Alexander Hamilton performance. And that's how also I became even more confident when Miss Shea would say, ratchet faces, make sure you're doing this and that. Then I finally met Miss Olivia and Miss Olivia. The connection that I have with Miss Olivia, I just absolutely love. She's very close to me. And yeah, dancing with her for four years is, it's great. It's a wonderful experience. But I remember first coming into class and I'm not even the same person as if I was when I first entered the studio. I was timid because I was transferring from that class to another class and I had to get used to it because there was people around. But at the same time, my first performance with that was a little rusty, but after five performances there and then, I got down the hang of it. Who cares what anybody says? Who cares who's watching? Just do you up until a certain point, I became better and that's how it's gonna be, hopefully. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned for next week. Adios.